It's a crime that puts almost everybody at risk. That reads right there as you swipe it through. It records the person's account information and then their code. Crooks, getting your information while you run your errands by putting skimmers on credit card machines and ATMs. We always tell people to look at it. If it looks weird, it probably is. Last month, we told you the Secret Service had found nearly two dozen skimmers at grocery stores, gas stations, and banks across Northeast Ohio. We also received a lesson from the FBI on how they work and how to spot them. Tonight, we follow through with a look at what one company that makes ATMs is doing to stop the criminals as well. News 5's Nadine Abusada takes us to North Canton. Depot Nixdorf is known for their ATMs. So cash is still extremely important to access, particularly to um, certain segments. Jody Needing says that's because they've been manufacturing them for more than 50 years. But more recently, the U.S. Secret Service has seen a spike in credit card skimming devices. So this year it, it goes anywhere from that we, we know probably around 20. Um, 20 plus in the northern Ohio area. The Secret Service believes an organized criminal group is using the devices to steal credit card information from cards with magnetic strips. So skimming devices have become more sophisticated. They put the skimmers in two places. First, as a cover on a credit card machine, and second, the devices are inserted in ATM card readers. And then they're also needing to get your pen entry. So there's typically a camera hidden somewhere um, on the ATM that's recording your pen entry. So you'll notice the ATMs are more flush, so that it makes it easier to see any cameras or unusual things attached to it. And for the card reader, now when you insert, you're going to insert in a different direction. They've made it smaller and they even have a sensor that can detect if a skimming device is installed. So if you insert your card and you're having trouble um, getting it, that could be a potential skimmer inside of the ATM. So to beat the criminals, Diebel Nixdorf has redesigned their product. As of right now, 140,000 of their new ATMs are already in use and they're making changes to the older ones. The reader upgrades to add and bolster on security to the existing card reader. So Those skimmers are still out there to protect yourself. Jody recommends the following. Use ATMs in well-lit and high-trafficked locations. Always cover your pen and inspect your machine before you use it. And of course, report any suspicious activities to your bank. Has anything unusual or has it been tampered? Um, is there something misaligned or damaged? That's a sign that someone has tried to um, put a skimmer in. And of course, report any suspicious activities to your bank. Jody says after this rollout, they plan to keep working on new ways to outsmart the criminals. Reporting in North Canton, Nadina Busada, News 5. Okay, here's another way crooks are getting their hands on our money. Impersonator scams where people pretend to be from places like our bank or law enforcement just to get us to hand over money or personal information. New rules that went into effect today allow the Federal Trade Commission help victims get that money back. So it, it gives us the ability when we sue companies to get money back uh, that we can then return to consumers and also to bring civil penalties that we hope will def deter fraudsters. The FTC says more than $1 billion was lost to those impersonator scams just last year.